Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday morning. Well, kind of interesting topic this morning. <laughs> Just something I want on my mind, but it kind of relates to what we all go through. You know, a little bit, you guys know a lot of my story, but I mean, if I go back, when I was in high school, you know, I wrote for the school newspaper, everything like that. I wanted to go into journalism. That was my plan. And that never panned out. But, you know, finding the the truth and everything was always something that was important to me. Okay, you know, <laughs> wound up an interrogator, same idea, finding the truth, right? You know, I mean, it's funny. I've had an article published in Sports Illustrated. I've been published in the, the Detroit News. Uh, I've done radio shows and television interviews and stuff like that, you know, on factual information over the course of my life, you know, here and there everywhere. But it's kind of funny because I go back to what I wanted to do and why. And then I see the way the world is today. Blissfully ignorant is the only way I can put it. All right. And I look at this, you know, y'all know I comb the news multiple times a day, finding out what's going on, trying to keep myself abreast of, you know, what happenings are going on, but that also so I can keep you guys up to date. And I find it amazing right now that, and I don't care where you go, I mean, go to the CNN, MSNBC crap, go to Fox, go to Breitbart, go to Newsmax, go to Zero Hedge, go wherever you want. And there's stories everywhere about the, the two main things in the news right now. I kid you not. These are the two hottest stories. The Amber Heard, Johnny Depp crap like, anybody gives a shit about that, okay? And Elon Musk buying Twitter. Like, there's nothing else important in the world going on, okay? You know, not the fact that there was another fire yesterday, you know, Geo Wednesday fire, you know, this time at a Hormel plant, uh, you know, Hormel chili and that sort of stuff. Hmm, food again, okay? You know, oh, this was in the air ducts, and it was put out within about 20 minutes or whatever it is. How do fires start in the air ducts? I don't know. Be an easy way to do it. You know, something like that. The drought conditions and the tens of thousands of acres that have already burned in 2022 due to wildfires. You heard anything about that? Nah. Okay. You know, how about uh, what came out of Russia yesterday, okay, with spokes spokespeople, if you will, for the Kremlin, or at least mouthpieces, let's put it that way, coming out and saying on Russian state television, I'll give you this quote, one Sarmat means minus one Great Britain. Hmm, okay, you know, so there's the comment of nuking Great Britain. Uh... Or, where is this? I want to read it to you verbatim. Uh, damn. Okay, here we go. Uh, another one comes out and says, If seven and a half megatons will be delivered to the territory of our so-called American partners, then objects like the city of New York, a good city, but it would be gone. So, I don't know, you know, Maybe a story, something like that, that you don't have to dig down to the bowels of the internet to find, to see, oh, gee, there's talk. That's all it is, okay? But destroying, nuking Great Britain, New York City, you know, I think those things might be important. No, we need to talk about Elon Musk buying Twitter. Why? Again, I go back to journalism. 
open up an article somewhere, especially go to Yahoo, especially Yahoo is the biggest dumpster fire there is. But the idea of journalism in the 21st century is writing two sentences and attaching eight Twitter tweets to it. And that's an article. And hey, you should get paid for doing that, you know, because you can go on Twitter and find stuff. Blissfully ignorant. That is what the public wants to be. And the government and the media is more than happy to tell them. I mean, when's the last time that you saw a story on the border crisis? Yeah, not much. Okay. You know, maybe a little bit there. I mean, you know, yesterday you had congressmen coming out in hearings and calling for Mayorkas to resign before he's impeached when the Republicans take over Congress in, uh, next year. Okay, Did that hit the mainstream media? No. Is that important? Yes. This is the problem. We talk about all the time how all the normies out there it's and why they don't know anything and why they don't do anything. It's because they're not informed at all, okay? They spend their life on Twitter and on Facebook, never dig into, and God forbid, do any research on their own. God forbid, go look at something. I mean, they have to be spoon-fed everything. You know, can you send me the link to this? Gee, do you know how to use a search bar? Okay. Where can I find this? Gee, I don't know. You go into Google and you tap, 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 and there it is, you know. But no, as long as somebody else does the work for them, they're more than willing to blindly believe whatever is being told to them. You know, when you're looking at Joy Reid or Anderson Cooper or pick one of the whack jobs that are on TV. This, this is the narrative that they get. It's not news. It's what that person wants to talk about. Sure, this channel is what I want to talk about. But I have a tendency, at least I think, to give you the facts to back up my opinions. Now, that is a little different, you know, but that was the few journalism courses I took and stuff like that, you know, fact-based stories was the important part. We don't get that anymore. And that's going to be the downfall. That is why the DNC has been able to do everything since... November of a couple of years ago that they have, because people aren't willing to go do anything. Everybody's like, well, I need to go to Starbucks. Well, I'm meeting, meeting my girlfriend at JCPenney and we're going shopping. Hmm. Okay. And then they'll bitch about prices and everything like that, have no idea why. You know, people ask me over and over and over again, what is going to be the scenario of uh, shortages? Okay, I get that email quite often. Guys, in a couple of months, you're not going to see any of those goods, not any, but a lot of those goods on the shelves that you see now. By the end of the year, you're not going to see a lot of the food that's on the shelf. Why? Oh, let me give you some facts that nobody wants to talk about. Right now, remember all those cargo ships that have been backed up in the L.A. ports and uh, waiting to get unloaded? There's about 15 left. Biden's going to take credit going, look, we finally cleared the bottleneck out in the port of Los Angeles, and everything like that. Why'd they clear the bottleneck? Because there aren't any ships coming. Okay. Again, go look at the satellite pictures. 
of how many ships are sitting waiting to get back into China to load or unload to bring stuff over here. They can't get in. So that means nothing's getting loaded to come over here. So once all those ships in LA are empty, there ain't nothing to, to put in. If the last light bulbs are on those ships, there's no more ships with more light bulbs. Guess what? When all those are sold, there ain't any more. Okay? We talk about food. Everybody says, when's the food shortage going to hit? Wait till fall when there's, I mean, there was, I forget what city it was. Somebody put a water restriction. One city put a water restriction out in California yesterday. You're only allowed to water your garden once a week. Okay? Uh, drought. Like I said, the fires and hundreds of thousands of acres have already been burned this year. Okay? What happens when all that grain and food and everything that everybody expects to start harvesting come a couple of months from now ain't there? What happens with all this culled chickens that nobody talks about that you have to go into the bowels of the internet to find out the stories about? And there's no chicken on the shelf. There's no beef on the shelf. What happens then? Ah, but I can tell you verbatim what Johnny Depp said about Amber Heard, because that was what you were spoon-fed because you didn't want to go out and look yourself, normies. That's the problem. Those of us, the prepper community, who have our eyes open and are willing to actually do something to educate ourselves, will be the ones that will come out ahead. Why? Because we're getting those necessities. We're storing that food. We're doing whatever. This is going to blow up and get real fugly later this year. The more you know.